Hey guys, we're back here with more viewer questions. I am here to help you do your swap and have success. So you got a question? Let us know in the comments. We'll do our best to answer it. You're about to get school. So I got a question here from uh, Marco. He says, hello, VTech gurus. I'm driving a 98 Siri first gen. Love those cars. Suspension is lowered. I'm running Civic size tires. 195.50R15s. They're about 15% smaller than the stock CRV 205.70.15. Yeah, quite a bit smaller actually. Uh, my speedometer reads significantly faster than my actual speed, as expected. And can I correct this by switching to an EK speedometer cluster, or should I switch to a DC2 VSS or something different? Uh, thanks for your input. Let me know. The speedometer conversion is in the speedometer. They used to have shops that had the ability to adjust those things. You might call around a little bit and see if there are still any of those shops available that can do that adjustment. Uh, what we've done in the past is I actually purchased a Dakota Digital Universal Speedometer interface and I use that in order to adjust the speed to make it match. Uh, you use a, you hook up the thing according to the instructions and you use a, a GPS phone to figure out what your speed is and then adjust accordingly. And that has always worked for me. Um, but way back in the day, uh, there were companies that actually were able to make that adjustment in the speedometer. So I don't know if there's some adjustment that's available in those speedometers uh, to see if maybe that might actually be a solution. Uh, you might want to check into that and see if that's possible. As far as putting an EK uh, speedometer or cluster in there, you may be able to actually change the cluster itself and that might work absolutely fine. Uh, you have to be kind of careful because there are actually two different manufacturers of speedometers for Honda. I think uh, Denso and Nippon Seiki uh, were the two different ones and uh, they may not be uh, compatible and it really depends on where the vehicle is made to what style it has. Uh, but you know, that'd be worthwhile to check out. Uh, so if you decide to go that route, you're probably gonna be able to pick up the speedometer for you know, 20 or 30 bucks. Uh, that might be a very interesting uh, thing. So if you do that and it works out, why don't you let us know so that we can help other people as well. Otherwise, my suggestion is either Speedo Healer or the Dakota Digital Universal Speedometer Interface. Well, I hope that answered your question and gives you something to work with. Again, I haven't tried this uh, the speedometer solution or switching speedometers, but I think that might be an interesting way of doing it. So why don't you check that out and, and uh, get back to us. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for uh, coming and joining us again. Again, I'm gonna try and answer a lot more questions with these short little videos. And I appreciate it when you ask this question because what we want to do here at VTech Academy is make sure you have a successful swap. So drop us a line or more importantly, comment down below and we'll try to get to answer your questions as well. Thanks for joining us.